What's going on, Gifted Hands family? We are back with another VST review or VST battle. It's gonna be a battle of the pianos, all right? So a battle of the piano VSTs. So we got three well-known popular VSTs, piano VSTs. We're gonna use Ravenscroft. We're gonna have some Keyscape in there. And then we're gonna have uh, Contact Keys. It's gonna be Alicia's Keys, all right, from Contact. So we're gonna use those three piano VSTs. Um, these are just the three that I use, honestly, the most often, the three that I hear people using the most. Piano Tech, I think, or yeah, Piano Tech. Tech is like T-E-Q, though. So it's like Piano T-E-Q. Um, it's pretty popular as well. I'm only gonna run one of Contact's pianos, but they have like six or seven great, great pianos. Uh, Universal Audio just dropped a new piano that we have as well um, that we'll get to another day. But uh, there's a bunch of great pianos out here, but we're just gonna review three. Um, some of the other ones that are listed are others that you might wanna go check out, okay? So let's dive into it. I'm gonna start off with my favorite, personal favorite. Uh, personal preference is gonna be Ravenscroft. Um, I, if you watch the Gifted Hands tutorial, we're either using Ravenscroft or we're using Keyscape. I use Contact for like a lot of production stuff that I do outside of teaching, but um, it's great as well, but we're gonna start off with Ravenscroft. All right, so I'm just gonna, honestly, I'm just gonna play. I'm not gonna talk much. If I got something to say, I'll say it, but for the most part, I'm just gonna play it. I'm gonna play like some talk music ideas uh, since you know we're all about gospel music here at Gifted Hands. I'm gonna play some talk music ideas in A flat major, all right? And just let me know what you think. Let me know what you like in the comments, all right? So this is Ravenscroft. All right, so that's Ravenscroft. I really love Ravenscroft. Um, it's really sharp. It's sharp, it's bright, it's extremely responsive. It's just a really crisp piano sound. And I think it's it's sample-based, I'm pretty sure. I don't think this is model-based. I think it's sample-based off of the Ravenscroft piano. Um, so yeah, this is honestly just top dog for me. I actually have this tweaked. Um, there's a little bit of reverb on there. And then like you have four different, if you see right here on the display, you have four different mic positions. I guess they grabbed samples from four different mic positions. You have uh, like a player position, you have a side position. What is that? Room. Oh yeah, you have a room mic and then, what else is there? Oh, close, oh you got a close mic as well. So you got a bunch of different positions that you can choose from when it comes to your mic placements. Um, and so you can kind of mess with the sound and get a completely different sound depending on how you blend those four different uh, controls, right? So Ravenscroft is definitely one of my favorite. Uh, I'm a little bit biased, all right? But let's jump into the next patch, which is going to be a Keyscape patch. All right, so we got good old Keyscape. Um, this is like a crowd favorite. Everybody named Mama got Keyscape. Uh, I mean, I like Keyscape, it's cool. Uh, I feel like with Ravenscroft, like right out of the box, I loved Ravenscroft with Keyscape. I had to do a lot of tweaking to find the patches and particular sounds that I felt like fit what I was looking for or what fits a record, you know, things like that, right? So uh, with Keyscape, I'm just, we keeping it simple. I'm starting on the very first, the default patch of Keyscape, which is a Yamaha C7 grand piano, right? Uh, I didn't tweak much on here. I think I turned the reverb on and then I turned the release noise and the pedal noise down. I hate just hearing like, it's, I feel like, their pedal and release noise is super loud when you first open up the patch, so I turned that down a little bit. 
okay? But here's, let me shut my mouth. Here's Keyscape and E flat. Alright, so that's Keyscape. Um, that is just the basic grand piano, C7 grand piano, Yamaha grand. Honestly, it's great as well. It sounds, I feel like Keyscape sounds more full, like it fills up more dynamic range, um, volume wise and like uh, frequency wise. Like it hits more, it has more full frequencies uh, than Ravenscroft. Like Ravenscroft cuts more, but Keyscape would fill up more space um, sonically. And Keyscape definitely has way more options as well. Ravenscroft is just one single sample and um, you can just tweak that one sample whereas Keyscape has, man, you got grand pianos, you got upright pianos, you got EPs, you got Rhodes, you got Whirlies. I mean, there's like, I don't even know, 15 different like grand piano patches. Um, so we're not even gonna get to all of them today, but I just wanted to show y'all the basic uh, piano patches for Keyscape, okay? So we got that. And then the final piano that we are going to review today is going to be Alicia's Keys. So this is a contact library. So here it is, Alicia's Keys. And this is a contact library. Um, I don't ever really use this specifically for like gospel stuff. Like if I'm making like some R&B or hip hop tracks or something, I feel like it's great pop even. Contact stuff is really great for. The Grand, the Grand is a really good patch in contact that works well. There's also a concert Grand, I think Noir is pretty dope. Uh, we'll have to we'll have to go over more pianos in another video, but today we're just rocking with Alicia's Keys and we're gonna see what comes about it, all right? So here is Contact and Alicia's Keys.
All right, so that is Alicia's Keys right there. Um, that is like kind of three of my favorite piano VST patches, which is uh, more, more so Keyscape, Ravenscroft, and Contact. They have a lot of great stuff. If y'all want to see more content like this, which is just reviews or playthroughs uh, of popular sounds, of popular VSTs, um, patches, things like that, please let me know. We're also going to have a video coming out pretty soon of the, like just some gospel sound design, which is the basics of gospel sound, so your basic instruments, how to approach aux playing, aux keys, all that good stuff. But if y'all want to see more reviews of, um, of gear and uh, software, let me know in the comments below. If y'all comment, we'll do more. If not, this might be the last video that you see this style, and we're gonna get back to the gospel actual like theory and lessons and songs and all that good stuff. But let me know. I'll see y'all in the next lesson. Peace.